Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. My name is the British Eagle, and today we're diving, flying, soaring into a brand new episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby Randomized Nuzlocke. This is episode 22? 22? Yeah, I think it is. Um, anyway, we're not doing a quick team recap because we don't even have the full team here. If you missed the last episode, go back and check that out. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already doing so. As you can see on the area nav on the bottom screen there, we have been to, like, we got, like, what, six encounters in the last episode? We've still got four more to the east here. We're first of all going to go ahead and jump right into a battle here. Uh, but in this episode, we got a lot of fun stuff land here. I'm going to battle this trainer, get about four encounters, I think. Then we're going to head back to Moss Deep, talk to Steven, and then we've got the gym battle to end this episode. So it's going to be an insane episode 22. So let's get to it. We're going to start off right now with a discharge to wipe out this level 38 hip love. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, so Piplup's defeated from one discharge. Ani is level 43. Yes, we're getting that level, baby. Let's go. Kadabra's coming out. We're actually going to switch out into Smokey here. Uh, Smokey with a body slam should be able to do the trick. Uh, a physical attack should basically destroy this brittle Kadabra, so... Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the last couple episodes. We've had an insane amount of encounters. We've not had as good of luck as we had in the last, like, three or four episodes before that, but it's still been insane. We What did we get? A Machop? A chess spin. Uh, we got Yoshi back on the team at the end of the last episode. It's just been insane. Smokey Rose level 41. That's awesome. So good to see that. Um, we defeated Secret Base Trainer Katie. But yeah, we've had insane luck. And so the last couple of encounters haven't really been insane. They've been good, but not like insane. So, um, all right, now we're on Route 131. Here we go. So let's go ahead and try and get another encounter. Uh, let's see. I did not realize how many encounters we can get here. This is nuts. All right, sweet scent. Let's go. What are we going to get? Let's get something good. Oh, it's a Hariyama. I'm, wow, okay. That's that's cool. That's not bad at all. Hariyama's cool. Uh, level 25. Yep, that's what most of the Pokemon are around here. Thunder Wave and Confuse Ray should do the trick. We're going to keep trying to catch all these mons here. By the way, I don't know if I told you guys, by the time this episode comes out, um, I will have had a haircut a couple days ago, uh, I think. Yes, because this is Friday's episode. And um, yeah, I'm super stoked. Apparently, if you wear a mask to the local like barbershop that I go to, they will cut your hair. They're obviously cutting back on taking people in person. Um, they're not having people stay, wait inside. Um, they're only taking specific appointments. It's very, very cut down from how it used to be. Um, but I'm gonna, I've reached out to them and they said everything's fine. They've cleaned the place. They are fully prepared. Um, it sounds a little risky and maybe I'm taking a shot by doing that. And it's, it's not a good idea, but I mean, I really want a haircut. I know that sounds silly to put myself in danger like that, but I think I should be fine. If they're taking the proper precautions, then I feel like, I, I feel like I'll be okay. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm being dumb by doing that during a pandemic of coronavirus, but it's, I should be fine. One, two, three, three shakes and a stop. We'll take that. So yeah, I'm excited. Uh, going back to my old barbershop to get a haircut, get this, uh, trimmed up facial hair that's looking a mess right now. My hair is looking a mess. It's super long. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get a haircut finally. It's been since February something. And we're at the, we're in May 15th right now, so breaking the fourth wall, wow, bananas. All right, so Hariyama, um, we caught you. Uh, we're gonna call you, uh, you know what? Uh, I just feel like this name is appropriate, hold on. Hiya! <laughs> I'm not gonna use Ariyama, so it's all good. All right, so that's one encounter down, like 25,000 more to go. So let's go ahead and swim this way. Oh, we got a double battle. Very cool. Shall we use our powers, brother and sister, to battle you? Let's battle this brother and sister. All right, let's do this double battle. Let's go, baby. Let's do it. Gentlemen, Rel and Ian sent out Spritzy and Marsh Tom. Okay. All right, let's see what you got. Ane and Ryan. It's actually a good combo for us, so that works out well. Um, technician, okay. 
So I'm going to go for a Dragon Pulse on the Spritzy. I'm going to go for a Leaf Blade on the Marsh Tomp, and that should be a one-shot. Oh, wait, it's Fairy. I'm dumb. It's, it's Fairy, so I can't... Dragon doesn't affect Fairy. Yep, that's right. Well, we got experience from the Marsh Chomp, and Ryan grew to level 41, so that's that's good. Went for Charm, that's fine. It's gonna lower our attack, so that's fine. Not worried about it. Uh, let's go for a Discharge instead, and actually hit... Oh, no, wait! Ah, that was bad. Well, I should be fine. It's not gonna kill... It's not gonna kill Ryan. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we killed the Spritzy. Ryan, thank God, did not die. Could you imagine if I accidentally killed Ryan? Ooh, that would have been bad. Oopsie! Ooh. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> let's go ahead and bypass these double trainers and go get another encounter. We're in Pacific Log Town. Now, before we actually get the encounter, there's some houses where people give you some TMs, apparently. In the Hoenn region, there are three Pokemon that represent the power of rock, ice, and steel. Each is said to hide away deep inside a cave. That's a story I heard when I was just a little kid. So apparently, it must not be that house, but... There's a couple houses on this, uh, in this town where if you talk to a guy, apparently there's a man, that, uh, there's two people that are guys that give you a TM. I don't know which house they're in. I think it's this one and then the Northwest house. Yeah. I've been to a Mirage spot. I'm sure of it, but I forgot where it is. I used to be very good at remembering things. I'm so shocked that I can't remember. Obtained me first. Okay, so I believe that's just a, a normal type move. Mirage spots. Must be the weather conditions that seem to make them visible at some times and not others. Or are they truly appearing and disappearing? Interest. Oh, wait a minute. I think that guy, there's... Oh, that's weird. It wouldn't let me go back in the house. I think there's also people that trade in here. They say here in Hoenn there are places called Mirage Spots. One does not simply walk in a Mirage Spot. Not to mention that these places also appear and disappear mysteriously. All right. That's, that, thanks for the info, Gramps. All right, so let's go this way. Let's try all the houses. Let's make sure. There's apparently some trades here, so I want to check these out. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself. The Pokemon fan club's most important person, the chairman, is my oldest brother. Eldest brother. I'm here enjoying my vacation with Pokemon. Yes, indeed. Ah, your Pokemon. It's clearly very friendly towards you. A Pokemon that's adoring and adorable deserves a TM like this, no? Obtained Aerial Ace. That's actually not a bad TM to get. An automatic hit. It automatically hits every time. It can't miss. If a Pokemon is very friendly towards you, returns power is enhanced. If it's not friendly, frustration's power goes up. That's cool. So we got Aerial Ace, a pretty good TM if I do say so. It's a 60 power flying move that can't miss. So I, it's not bad at all. I thought there were some trades around here. Am I missing this though? Would you take this from me? I no longer have any use for it. Obtain Magic Room, another TM. There's three TMs you can get. That's crazy. Um, okay. Um, I don't know what, I missed that text, sorry. Uh, people say they've seen a Pokemon flying high in the sky above Helen. Is it flying around all the time? Doesn't it need rest sometime? Uh, do you trade? Ah, Sky Pokemon, a Sky Pokemon! Where did, uh, where did you come from? Yes? Yes, town? I've never heard of a place like that. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Uh, so let's go in here and let's go ahead and see if we can heal up our squad real quick because, uh, Ani's definitely been fighting a lot, catching all of these Pokemon for us. Bum, bum, bum. All right, so real quick, I want to see if there's a TM attached to any of the Pokemon that I caught in the wild recently. Oh, they all went into the death box because I didn't switch it over. Okay, so, uh, okay, wait, hold on. I need to go back. Uh, organize items. There we go. So we can take all the items off these Pokemon. So he's got a Charty Berry, so let's put that back in the bag. Thank you. Uh, he's got a Thick Club. Nope. Bag. There we go. Uh, a dubious disc. Okay, very nice. A zoom lens. Nope, not move. Bag. Very cool. A yachi berry. All right. No, I don't want to give you anything. And wise glasses. Very cool. I'll take that. All right, so let's go ahead and organize the box a little bit. So I definitely... Ah, man, I got to move all these over. All right, so let's go ahead and put this guy in box one. Uh, let's move you, because I don't want any confusion about which Mon is alive and which Mon is dead. So let's go ahead and organize this a little bit. Did we already have a pseudo-wudo or... 
No, we did not. I'm just looking at it now. We definitely did not have any dupes, so... Nope. Wait, no. Ah, uh, come on. Uh. No, I did it again! You've got to be kidding me. Come on, no. There we go. All right, let's try and make this a little bit quicker so you guys aren't bored to death. Hopefully, I can get out of here and get my next encounter. All right, we're on a box, too. I, I don't think I've ever caught this many mon in a Nuzlocke. All right, move... There we go. Okay, so now we've organized our box a little bit, so we're good now. Whew, all right. Um, I don't know where the trades were. I thought, is it this kid? Look, look, isn't it neat? Our houses are in water, and I was born here, too. Okay, cool. Let's talk to this guy. I think he gives us a rod. The folks of Pacific Log make their living by fishing and diving. Oh, that's cool. That's neato, dude. All right, well, oh my gosh, what was that? All right, so I don't know what that was, but you know what? I would love to catch what, oh, no, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 go back. We got to get our first encounter in Pacific Log. So let's go ahead and use Sweet Scent. Let's see if we can get something good. Rosa, what are you going to get for us this time? Come on, Rosa. Get us something good. Come on. It's a Lunatone. That's cool. Wow, that's ironic because that's one of the mons that we typically would fight it, uh, against the, um, the twins in the next gym. So that's ironic. Wow. What are the odds? All right. Thunder Wave paralyzed it. Cosmic Power, it's going to boost its stats. I think it's defense, right? Or no, it's attack. Oh, no, it is defense. Yeah. Special defense, too. Let's go for Confuse Ray. Go ahead and confuse this Lunatone. All right. And then we're going to throw some balls at it, hopefully catch it, and then go get two more encounters. Freaking ridiculous how many encounters we've gotten so far. Uh, let's go for a Pokeball. Let's go... Let's go with the Luxury Ball. Let's let's give that a try. It can't hurt. Come on. Let's catch the Lunatone. One. Two. Ah, oh, I thought we were going to get it on the first ball. That would have been really cool. That would have been dope. Psy Wave. All right. Random amount of damage. Uh, just 14. All right. Let's go for a... Okay, let's go for a Nest Ball. I don't know if this is going to work. It says the lower level of the Pokemon. The lower the level. One. Okay, so that didn't work at all. Snapped out of Confuse Ray. Okay, so we're going to hit it with another Confuse Ray. Uh, let's go Confuse Ray right here. All right, come on. Let's catch the Lunatone. I'm really enjoying getting all these encounters. This is awesome. Okay, here's some... Uh, embargo? Okay, I guess. That's fine. Doesn't it mean I can't use the move? Oh, I can't use items anymore. Wait. Can I not throw a ball? Oh, no, I can. Okay, I was going to say, I can't use items anymore? I was like, what? Wow. Not even staying in the ball. All right. I may have to hit it with a discharge. Oh, it's hit itself. Okay. Uh, all right. Here's what we're going to do. I'm not overly excited about a, a Lunatone, so let's throw a discharge out there. If it survives, we will continue to try and catch it. Ah, uh, sorry, Lunatone. We killed you, unfortunately. I'm not spending 45 minutes trying to catch a Lunatone. That's just ridiculous. All right, let's continue west and see what we can get. We are now in Route 132. Very cool. Oh, it's got this stuff. What is that? Oh, my gosh. What is that? Holy crap. All right. We're going to try Sweet Scent again. Let's see if we can get something good. That sounded like a legend, and that's what I'm about. Come on. Give us something good. Come on. Oh, it's an Articuno. It is a legend. I called it. No freaking way. An ice flying type. Wow. All right. Well, we're definitely not wasting any time. Master Ball, go. We got another legend. Another one. Dude, that is actually really cool. What I should have probably done here is I probably should have tried to catch it without using a, um, without using the Master Ball. I probably should have Thunder Wave, Confuse Ray, but honestly, it's an Articuno. This is dope. Wow. All right, so I already know what I'm going to call this thing. Articuno has been caught. Oh, that's so cool. Lord Frieza. 
I freaking love it. Frieza's perfect for this. Went to box two. That's awesome. We just got an Articuno. All right, so now I'm curious about these pathways. I don't know the correct way to go, so wish me luck. But that seemed to work out pretty well. We got a protein. All right, let's see. Primal Kyogre, help us out here. I'm gonna go right this time. Is this the right way to go? Ah, ah, ah. Uh, can I get that item? Doesn't look like I can. I'm gonna keep going. Let's see what else is over here. Come on, get us another to the next route. Come on. We can do this. Route 134. Okay, that worked. That's fine. I'll take that. Big Pearl. We got a Big Pearl. I'm not upset about that. So if we surf... Uh, I guess I'll surf this side. We'll try it. I don't know. I'm going to give it a shot. Let's see what we can go. Let's see what we can go for here. Oh, that's interesting. Can I... Wait, so where are we on the map? We're at one, Route 133. I'm going to try and get another encounter. <laughs> this is bananas. We've had like 12 encounters within the last... This episode and the last episode. This is freaking bananas. What are we going to get on Route 133? Oh, there's nothing here. Oh, that's interesting. So on this route, there's no encounters to get? I guess it's because of high tides. High tides, dude! I mean, I guess we'll go this way and keep going. Is it going to take us to Route 134? It is. Very interesting. All right, let's keep going. I don't know how how this is going to how far this is going to take us, but I've never done this before, so I don't know. Okay, so this is a really long path. Going to push us out this way. Okay, we're gonna battle this trainer. All right. The Savage Tide in this area serves to make us stronger than ever. Ha ha! School kid Aaron sends out an, an, a mega... Magnazone, not a megazone, a magnazone. All right. Level 39, wow, strong. Let's go for a Dragon Pulse. Metal Sound, lower our defense. Special defense too? Or just special defense? Just special defense, okay. Dragon Pulse, go on a... Roar! That did under half. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to go out to Smokey and not mess around just in case that special defense drop really hurts badly. I don't think it would do anything crazy, but we still got to still gotta be careful. So, goes for Screech. Okay. Lowered our defense, even though you're a, phys or you're a special attacker. So, weird. Goes for Electro Ball. Uh-oh. That did good damage, but Flamethrower should be a one-shot. There we go. Magnazone is defeated. Very nice, Smokey. Very nice. 2,000 experience. Ane grew to level 44. Wow. x coming out. I'm going to stay in. No, we're staying in. We're not messing around. We got this, right, Smokey? Let's go for another Flamethrower. We outspeed the x as slow as we are. Wow. And we got the burn. Let's go. Roar is going to switch us out for... Neptune. Oh, that's bad news for you, man. Bad news for you. Not only did you get burned, but you're about to get dominated by a water pulse here. There you go. x is defeated. Let's go. Nice. Good experience. I concede defeat. All right. So, where do we... I... Oh. Game took a... Took a... A hit there. I don't know what happened, but it lagged for a second there. Sorry, guys. Okay, so now... Oh! So, are we... Oh, we're in Route 134. Wait, hold on. We're at Slateport? Oh, we could have just fished from here, or surfed from here. I didn't even know that. All right, well, let's get our 134 encounter. We have to be able to get it here now that the water's calm, uh, calm. So, let's go for our 134, and then we're going to Moss Deep, baby. Let's do it. What are we gonna get? An Oddish. Oh. Um. Yay. All right, well, we got an Oddish. That's. Yay. 
Oh, it's all good. Hey, we got a lot of encounters, including an Articuno. So very, very cool. I, I'm not upset about that. So. All right. So Oddish, hit yourself, please. Make this easier on us all. Nope, you're paralyzed. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw... Uh, we'll go with a... Uh, we'll go with Luxury Ball. That's fine. Go, Luxury Ball! And this, I think, will be the last encounter of this episode. And then we're going to head to Moss Deep. And then we are going to talk to Steven. And... Yeah, three shakes and a stop. We caught Oddish. Very nice. Um, we're going to talk to Steven in Moss Deep. We're going to see if we can beat the twins and go from there. Nice. Registration complete. Oddish. During the daytime, Oddish buries itself in soil to absorb nutrients from the ground, using its entire body. The more fertile the soil, the glossier it le its leaves become. Very cool. So we're going to give it a nickname. Um, we're going to give it... Uh, we're just going to call you... Blueberry. What up, Blueberry? How you doing, girl? Blueberry the Oddish. There we go. We'll take it. All right. So, we have got encounters for days on days and days. So, let's go ahead and fly back. Wow, we just did all of these routes. That's bananas. All right, so Moss Deep. Now we got some stuff to take care of in Moss Deep. Whew! All right, let's see what we can do. Moss Deep, we got to go talk to Steven, like I said. Let's go grab the rest of our squad. Now that we don't need Rosa and Kenshin to help us out anymore. Um, all right, so let's go in here. Deposit... Uh, deposit Kenshin. So for right now, I'm not going to add any of the new encounters, but we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mons that we caught. And I think we killed once. That's 12 encounters between this episode and the last episode. That's freaking cuckoo bananas. So we're going to withdraw Zekrom. We're going to withdraw Crystal. And who else are we missing? Uh, is that it? Oh, it's just the two of them. Okay, cool. All right, so. Uh, yeah, team is looking good. We just got to go heal up. Ani, getting Ani to level 44 is nice. That is going to be our lifesaver if we get caught into a really tough spot in this gym. So I'm hoping we can handle it. We should be fine, so. All right, all healed up. Nope, I don't need to. Nope, no thank you, Nurse Joy. I'm good. Now, Steven's house is just literally over here, I think, right? I think it's this house in the corner. No. I could have sworn... Oh, maybe it's just the one right next door to the PC. I could have sworn it was... Hmm. No, it's not that one. I know his house is on this island. Or did I miss it? Wait, what? Am I missing something? Hold on. Oh, I think you go to his house after, um, after the gym battle. I think that's what it is. I'm... What? Wait, there's a door? Wait... Seems to be locked. Okay. Interesting. I could have sworn you spoke to Steven first. Uh, maybe not. It would, uh, wouldn't it be nice if this island, no, the whole world was burgeoning, uh, burgeoning the nature? All right, what is in here? Oh, look at this. Ah! <laughs> Look at it. Oh, man. Am I cute or what? All right. So let's see. This is like the hangout spot thing in a jigger. Very cool. Very cool. I'm just going to take a look around, boys. Don't mind me. Keep doing your science thing. Uh, Do you do anything? I feel like there's a reason we talk to you, right? Mosty has many clear days and its wind patterns are stable. That's why it's an ideal location for launching rockets into space. Wow. Very own NASA out here. All right. Okay, so that was kind of pointless. There's nothing to do in here, so that's... I mean, it is what it is. Uh, what about you? The rocket was launched safely. That's successful launch number six. Okay. Uh, well, that was fun while it lasted. There's nothing... Oh, wait, do you sell stuff? Ooh, wait a minute. <gasps> oh, no, I was hoping they sold stuff so I could get more randomized items. Dang it. What the heck? All right, so let's... I don't think there's really anything else to do now. I think we just got to battle the... Oh, wait a minute. 
Uh, yeah, what's over here? Is this just the... I feel like there's a hidden item somewhere over here. Oh, I found an iron! Very nice. I knew there was... It's... That's typical Pokemon to allow you to go to a spot and uh, find a hidden item. So, okay, cool. What about this house right here? Is this Steven's? Oh, it's a fisher. Will you give us a rod? Hey there, trainer! A super rod really is super! Say whatever you want, but this baby can catch Pokemon right off the seafloor. What do you think? You want one, don't you? You bet, you bet. After all, the super rod is the definition of super. Obtain the super rod. Very cool. I'll take that. Thank you very much, my dude. Alright, we're gonna head into the gym. I am gonna start off these gym battles with... X1. Let's get X1 out there. Raid a battle. We just gotta make our way. Oh, there's an item. Hold on. We gotta revive. Cool. I can sell that. Alright, we are getting our next. Uh, this is gonna be our seventh gym battle. Insane. Insane in the membrane. Insane. God, no. Bra Whoa. Now, this looks cool. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. I haven't been into this gym in Omega Ruby before, or Alpha Sapphire. So I did not know what to expect. You're challenged by secret base trainer Preston. Sends out a slacking. I would love a slacking. It's it's a freaking pseudo right there. Pseudo legendary. Now I believe the mons are gonna be 40s. 42, yeah. This is gonna be the toughest gym battle we've had so far. Um Yikes. I have to be really careful here. So I'm gonna play this smart. I'm gonna go into Ryan. And I'm gonna toxic, toxic this man because slacking, if I go for like an earthquake and he goes for a counter, this man would, yeah, see, I predicted it. That man would body my team. He goes for swagger instead. Okay, ups my attack and confuses me. Can we break through and hit with toxic? Come on, please, Ryan. No, we don't. Okay, that's fine. Ooh, I did a lot. Okay, one toxic, come on, chip away. Oh my gosh, Ryan, no! Oh my gosh, we just lost Ryan. Oh my gosh, I knew slacking was powerful. Guys, I am so sorry. I knew slacking was powerful. I didn't think a chip away would do that much. We're on par with levels, wow. I, what did I tell you? This gym is gonna be tough. Oh my gosh. We may not be ready for this. Um. All right, Ane, come on out. I can't believe I just lost Ryan. I love Domungus. I'm s honestly, that really sucks. A slacking. Oh my gosh, dude. Freaking brutal. Okay, well. I, I mean, I. I thought, honestly, he would go for something, but I didn't think it was gonna be chip away doing like a hundred damage. And the freaking confusion hit, of course. So I. That sucks. Alright, so I just gotta go for this. I mean, I. I'm gonna go for a stab discharge. He's weak uh, on the special defense side, so this sh Okay. He hit himself. Yep, so we're fine. We should outspeed because of the paralysis, so I'm gonna go for another discharge. We go for the discharge, take out slacking. Ryan, I am really sorry, dude. I am so sorry. I did not let you go down, I promise. The two confusion hits and the chip away did so much damage. Wow. I... Yeah, that sucks. All right, so before we go... Oh, can I not leave? Oh. Oh, okay, I can leave now. Okay, so I need to leave right now. Because I'm not coming in here with a team of five. Ryan, I'm so sorry, man. I really loved having you on the team, my dude. I can't believe the first Mon we fought. And I was trying to play smart. I was going for the Toxic. I was going to hit him with that. And then... Uh... Uh, Ryan, I'm sorry, man. All right, so now the question is, who do we grab out of the box? There's Articuno, um, which definitely would be an interesting mod to add to the team. We just lost a grass type, so I'm thinking Go-Goat would be cool. We could add Yoshi back on the team. Um, uh, I'm just, dude, that really is a stinker. We could add Chespin. Chespin would be really nice. But I'd have to I'd have to grind off screen big time, which I might end up having to do anyway. I'm thinking for now. It's level 40, so it could help us out big time. I'm gonna bring Kabuto onto the team. 
Um, it's level 40. That's the main reason why I'm adding it on the team. Let me go ahead and give it some TMs real quick. Uh, let's, oh, it can learn freeze dry. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. It's not stab though. So I'm going to say no to that. Um, it can learn surf. Let's go ahead and teach it surf. Now, not X1. We, uh, Slasher, we'll go ahead and give you surf. Uh, we'll get rid of Endure, yeah. It's got Mega Drain. It's got, uh, what was that? Water Pulse? I didn't see what that was, but it's got some decent moves. So, honestly, not bad. Shadow Ball, me first, Aerial Ace, Magic Room. Um... Uh... Sludge and Freeze Dry aren't stab moves, so it's kind of weird to give Freeze Dry to the Kabuto. I guess it it is super effective on water types, so I, I guess that's not bad to have. So let's let's just go for that. Uh, let's get rid of Sand Attack. Oh, I'm so mad I lost Ryan. I'm uh, honestly, it may not seem like it because I'm not like super mega depressed but like it sucks i i may not be showing it but it, i'm definitely not happy about that i thought honestly with how bulky is i thought we could have been i thought we would have been fine with that um do we have a candy to evolve him we don't do we uh i'll give him i'll give him lucky egg that's fine ah uh, all right well i mean i don't know i thought because here's the thing like I said before, if we if we stayed in with X1 and went for uh, Earthquake, if, if it didn't kill, we were losing X1 right there. So I said, all right, Ryan's bulky. He can handle it. You know, I can deal I can deal with one attack from a Slacking. Slacking's bulky. I get that. Slacking is very strong. I'm not saying anything bad about Slacking. I'm not underestimating him. I just thought Ryan was good enough to handle that. Um, and to be fair, he did. It was just the confusion that screwed us over. Ah. Uh, All right, here we go. Battle number two. Please don't be as bad as the last one. Oh my gosh, McCar go fast. Ah. Uh. All right, I'm confident we can beat McCar go fast. I'm not worried about him. Okay. Sandstream, that's fine. Going for an earthquake. One shot, there we go. Makar, go fast! Good experience, there you go. Buffeted by the sand, that's fine. Palkia is coming out. Now, Palkia is the water steel, so I think I'll be, I think I'll stay in. I think it should be good. Yeah, this is the water, or no, it's water dragon, the other one's steel dragon. So I'm gonna go for dragon pulse. Oh no, wait. Oh, I was gonna say, if it outsped and went for dragon pulse, it might have one shot me there. Woo, I gotta be careful, this gym is gonna be bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, if I didn't one-shot it, we should be fine too. I, I think unless it gets a crit and we we don't outspeed. Oh no. It's not. X1, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. All right, we took care of Palkia. The Sandstream shouldn't do 12 damage. Okay, it's the end of the battle. It's fine. Oh my gosh, I am getting so lucky with some of these almost deaths. Wow. Um. Holy crap. This gym, I might, this gym leader is going to be insane. <laughs> I've got to face level 45 Pokemon. Holy crap. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to battle this trainer. Oh, I guess I can't go that way. Oh, interesting. Okay. So I have to go this way. Foo -foo 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 -foo. Watch me levitate a Pokeball telekinetically. Sometimes I'm out of sync. Nice. All right. So let's see. Can we take on Expert Fritz? Corsola. Corsola's fine. Harmless Corsola. Level 40, 42. Oh my gosh. The twins are going to have six Pokemon in the 45s. The 45 range. That's going to be insane. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe I almost lost Zekrom after, or X1 after all, uh, after losing Ryan. Oh my gosh. Corsola, one shot. You're dead. 
Wow. X1's gonna be level 42. Thank God. We need all the levels we can get right now. But see, I wanted this kind of a challenge. That's why I decided to stay away from, um, stay away from over-leveling my mons, because we're right on par with the trainers in the gym now. We're gonna be under-leveled, actually, when we hit this gym leader, so... <laughs> Alright, Cradley. I'm gonna go for a Surf on you. See how much this does. Did over half. I'm fine with that. Hmm. Okay. Let's go for another Surf. Let's see what this does. Come on. Cradley is defeated. There we go. We got out of a battle scot-free. Thank God. Good experience. We'll take that. All right, here we go. Okay, so let's touch the rock here. You know what? I just realized this. I really need to level up Slasher. Even if it's just the one level, just to get a Kabutops right before this gym. I don't think I'll be able to, but it's worth a shot. I should have done that before, but I just didn't think about it till now. One Pokemon. It's got a Reshiram. Oh my gosh. What is this gym? What is this gym? Oh my gosh. Wow. Neptune, come on out. This is a fire dragon mod, and I am crapping myself right now. Holy crap. I mean, granted, Neptune will be able to take a flamethrower from this thing. Yeah, we're good. Did 20 damage. That's 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 something. We're going to go for an ice beam here and try and uh, take this thing out. Holy crap. If we didn't have the legends we had now, we would not be able to take out these mons. Thank God we have these. Holy crap. All right. I'm going to go for a surf. It's part fire. So we'll see if this is better. It's stab as well. So yeah, it's much better. Dragon breath. Dude, Neptune is killing it for us. Oh, all right. We got paralyzed. That's fine. I'm going to go for a surf. Do we break through the paralysis? We don't break through the paralysis. Okay. So I got to heal because this is not good. It's not looking good. Um, Let's go for a max potion. And then I don't need to heal the paralysis, honestly. I think I should be fine. Slash. That did 27. Okay, that's fine. Uh, You know what? Now nah, we're just going to go for a surf. We'll be fine. We got a breakthrough, right? Flamethrower, it's going to do about 30. Did a little... I don't know, did about right. And it got a crit. Oh my gosh, Flamethrower does nothing to us. We're good. Reshiram is defeated. That's insane, dude. Holy crap. 2,688 experience for Neptune. Gross level 43. I needed that. Slasher gains 4,688. I probably almost got a level off that. That's bananas. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous about this gym. Full heal, let's go ahead and use that on Neptune. Uh, let's go ahead and use a Moo Moo Milk on Neptune as well. Wow. Oh my gosh, this gym has been insane. Ooh, I'm so nervous about this gym. I don't know if I'm ready to take on this gym leader. Actually, I feel like I'm definitely not ready to take on the gym leader. Okay, I can go back this way, right? No? How do I get over there? Oh, what do I do now? Wait, I can't go backwards? I have to go all the way back. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so now... Oh, wait. Oh, no. You go here, so you can go right here. Okay. Oh, no. I'm scared. Oh, my gosh. What if we lose the Nuzlocke right here? Oh, my gosh. This is bad. Okay. I'm not worried about leveling up Slasher anymore. Um... Oh my gosh, I'm terrified. <laughs> Ooh, oopsie. Six Pokemon level 45. All right, so here's what we need to do. Um, let's see. Uh, boost I tight. No, I think we're good with that. Um, no, Adamant Orb, Dragon, and Steel. That's for Dialga, or Dialga. Um. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. I'm just making sure I haven't missed any item that I can, like, equip that would be just super helpful. Um... Ooh. Oh, wait, we've got leftovers. Let's give that tax one. Yeah. Why am I not giving that tax one? What am I doing? Ooh. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I am terrified of this gym. We're at 40 minutes. This is gonna be so bad. I'm ready. Okay, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do this thing. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be terrifying. If she leads with a slacking, I'm gonna cry. Or if they lead with a slacking. Oh no. Hee hee hee, were you surprised? Tee hee hee, were you surprised? That there are two gym leaders, that there are two gym leaders. We're twins, we're twins. Oh my gosh. We don't need to talk because we can tell, each tell, what the other is thinking. Oh my gosh. All in our minds. This combination of ours, can you beat it? Oh my gosh, I'm terrified! Ah! <laughs> All right, here we go versus Liza and Tate. Oh my gosh, here we go. Is it gonna be a double battle? It is still a double battle. Okay, Reinculus and Kadabra, we can handle that. I didn't realize it was still a double battle. Okay. Oh man, here, that's actually, I'm kind of happy it's a double battle. That actually works out in our favor a little bit. Um. Okay, 45 Kadabra, 45 Reinculus. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Um. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna Dragon Pulse the. The bigger threat is the Reinculus, I think. So I'm gonna Dragon Pulse that. And then I think go for a. Flamethrower on the Reinculus. I think that's the bigger threat. Yeah, this. This cadaver is going for roleplay. Sorry, my headset's falling off my head in the back there. All right, so it goes for roleplay. Dragon Pulse, let's see how much this does on the Reinculus. That did not do much. A Psychic, oh no. Smokey, hold on. Smokey, hold on, no! Oh, I forgot his special defense isn't that good. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Um, okay, so. Ugh. Uh... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, I'm so. I, this is so bad, Smokey. I'm so sorry. I've got to rebuild my team after this. Holy crap. All right. Um, What do I want to do? So, Crystal would get bodied by a psychic. Um, I'm just going to go in Neptune. We're going out to the heavy hitters. Holy crap. This is insane. I've lost two months, almost three. All right. So, I'm going to go for. Um, I'm gonna Dragon Pulse the Kadabra this time, and I'm gonna go for the... I'm gonna go for an Ice Beam. Goes for Future Sight. Okay, that's fine. Dragon Pulse, how much will this do? Stab Dragon, or Dragon Pulse does half. Okay, we probably should have double-teamed the Kadabra. That would have been smarter. Ice Beam, that's good. Psychic, how much is this going to hit for? Oh, man. That did a lot. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go for Kadabra. We're going to do the exact same thing we just did. That should kill. Oh, no. It used Future Sight. I forgot about that. That that wouldn't kill from a Kadabra on, on Zekrom, would it? Okay. Kadabra's dead. That's fine. Good job. Good job. Ice Beam should kill the... If it doesn't kill, I might lose a Zekrom. Okay, it did. All right, we're good. Okay. Whoo! Okay, we're safe for now, I think. All right, what's next? A, Zwil a Zwilos? Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And a Bufalon. All right. I'm going to switch out here. Um, I'm going to switch out into Ane. I feel like Ane can take some better hits than, um, than the Zekrom right now, or X1. And then we're going to go for an Ice Beam on the Zwilos. <laughs> this is the tough battle I've been waiting for. This is insane. Ice Beam on the Zwilos. This might, this isn't Stab, but it's a one-shot. We'll take that. We'll take that. That's perfect. That's perfect. All right. 
Gain some experience, same for Neptune, same for X1. Revenge? Revenge can hit even though I didn't attack it? That's interesting. Future Sight, oh my gosh. That did so much damage, that's not even funny. All right, so I'm going for a Moo Moo Milk right now on Ane. This is an insane battle, not even kidding. Um, I'm gonna go for a Stab Water Pulse, hoping to confuse the Bufalon. That's what I think is the best play here. Future Sight from a Kadabra on a Mega Ampros did that much damage, that's insane. Luckily, Neptune and Ane are right on par level-wise with the other- Oh, we got the Confusion and the Crit. Quiver Dance, how much is that gonna do? Oh, does that up their stats? Yeah, that ups the special attack and- Oh, wow. Those are some good stat boosts. He went for Head Charge. Oh, man. Bufalon's strong. Oh, my gosh. That did half to Ane. But he gets Recoil. Okay, I thought that went after Ane. That would have killed Ane if it finished it. Or if it hit. All right. So... What do we do here? I f okay, here's what I think. Well, no, Ane's slow. I can't rely on Ane's speed at all. Ane has no speed. So we're going to heal up here. And then we are going to... I got I to take this Bufalon out. Bufalon is so strong. Oh, no. Went for a Hyper Potion. Oh, man. That is really not good. I mean, we're healing Ane, so we should be fine. I don't think the Dustox can touch us. I think we should... Bug Buzz is going to do some damage, but it shouldn't be that much, right? Oh, wait. Oh, that's super... Oh, no, it's not super effective. Never mind. Oh, my gosh, dude. This is brutal. Um... Okay. Um... Man, oh, man, oh, man. I'm going to go for the... I'm going to go for that. We're going to tag team... The Bufalon. Do I outspeed... We're going to tag team the Bufalon. It goes for Quiver Dance. Oh, that's not good. If Bufalon outs... Oh, no, wait. That's fine. It just uh, boosts its stats. I don't care about that. Water Pulse will hurt. It won't kill unless we get a crit. Crit, 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 crit. Almost. Oh, no. He went for a head charge. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Neptune hung on. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It took recoil damage. Bufalon's destroyed. Wow. Holy crap. Level 45 for Ane. That is much needed. This is the craziest battle I've ever had in Pokemon history for me. 43 for X1. Learn Zen Headbutt. Uh, do I want a Psychic move? It could make the opponent flinch. It's not Stab, though. I'm gonna say no. Okay. Dragon Pulse is gonna hit the Dustox, which is perfect. The Dustox has been boosting its stats, though, so we really need to be careful of that thing. Um, okay. I'm gonna go for a... Oh, Discharge is going to hit both of them. Um, oh, man. I don't like this. Um, I'm going to Thunder Wave the Dust Tox. I don't have any more Max Potions. Oh, man. I have to just use Moo Moo Milks. Okay. Heal up Neptune. Yeah, thank God I didn't mess up that heal right there. Wow. This is insane. All right. That Head Charge from the Bufalon was insanely powerful. Now, the thing that concerns me is Bug Buzz is boosted now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Okay, we paralyzed it, which means we should outspeed. So here's my thought. Oh man. Um. Here, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, no, I can't. Mm. Okay, let's play the safe game here. Let Well, I can't allow it to keep getting stat boost, though. Um, okay. Ah, man, I really need to heal, though. Because I was thinking about switching into X1 uh, for Neptune and, and going for Discharge with Ane. It would hit all of them, but X1 is part electric, so it wouldn't hurt him as much, but I can't risk that. Um... All right, I'm going to heal... I'm going to heal Neptune. And Neptune is going to go for the Ice Beam on the Dust Tox. That's the, I think that's the smart play right there. Heal up Neptune. 
and then go for the Ice Beam to try and take out the Dust Ox. Wow. I don't remember what Acrobatics does, so I am terrified. Oh my gosh, it's Quiver Dancing again? Okay, um, that's really not good. All right, so here's what, I, this is such a risky play. Um, I think I have to, okay, no, here's what we're gonna do. Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. This, this, uh, this Dust Tox is really, really heavy right now. Um, okay, these are her last two Pokemon. Why am I focusing on Dust Tox? I should take out the Farfetch with a uh, an Ice Beam. Yeah, what am I doing? Take out the Farfetch with an Ice Beam. This should not live. Moomoo Moo Milk. Heal up fully. And let's murder this Farfetch. Why? It's down to her final two Pokemon. Let's murder that thing. Kill it. Get it out of here. It's a it's two on one now. We got some experience. Neptune Gross level forty four. That helps with all of our stats. We just got a plus five special attack, plus four attack. That's fantastic. It's going for Quiver Dance again. Oh my gosh, it's got like a plus five stat boost. It could, I don't think it could one shot us, but all right, here's what I'm gonna do. We're, it, we paralyzed it, so we should be able to be faster. I'm gonna Confuse Ray and Ice Beam. Okay, we still, we outspeed, that's fine. Quiver Dance again? If I get hit by one move, I'm in trouble. This could be bad. Okay, now we can double team this freaking Dust Tox with Dragon uh, Dragon Pulse. Well, you know what? Ooh, I should heal. Yeah, I'm going to play the safe game here. While we have a chance, I'm going to heal Ane. And then I'm going to attack with another Ice Beam. Oh, it used a super a Hyper Potion. That's bad. Oh my gosh, that's bad. That's fine, though. It wastes a turn. That's perfect. We heal up Ane. Ice Beam, that's fine. Yep, we'll go for that. Does nothing! Oh my gosh. All right, so let's go for Dragon Pulse. I'm gonna try a Body Slam on this thing. Body Slam, how much is this gonna do? It's got five stat increases. Oh, Body Slam's much, oh, we if we get one more turn, we win this. And it hit itself, yep, we won. I should have been going for Body Slam this whole time. Dragon Pulse, please finish this thing off. Oh my gosh, we made it out alive, barely. Holy crap, we defeated Le Liza and Tate. Our, our teamwork. Oh my gosh, what an insane battle. It can't be helped, you've won. So take this in recognition. Wow, we got our seventh gym badge. Let's freaking go, man, let's freaking go. Receive the mind badge from Liza and Tate. The Mind Badge has the power to make all Pokemon up to level 80, including those you've received from other people who obey you. It also enables Pokemon to use the HM move called Dive. And take this too. Obtain Meteor Mash. Yes. That's the move um, Metagross gets. Oh my gosh, that's a great steel move. Calm Mind comes from relaxing your mind and concentrating. Pokemon Special Attack and Pokemon Special Defense will be heightened by this move. It's a perfect move for Psychic type Pokemon. Looks like the bond between you and your Pokemon is far stronger then the bond we share as twins. And you'll go on from here to form even more bonds. That's the future I see for you. There may be a harsh ordeal ahead for you and your Pokemon, but that's all right. You and your Pokemon aren't alone. You have each other. That's why we want you to face whatever troubles may come your way, head on and full of courage. Oh my gosh. What a freaking insane battle that was. This gym has been insane. I... I, I can't even fathom what the heck just happened, and now we're getting to a major cutscene. This is a long episode. I'm really sorry how long this episode is, guys. Ooh, a cutscene. Oh, wow. Oh, epic music, Steven! What? 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 A, 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 a pillar of light! A, 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 a beard from the sea! That direction? Is that the direction of Route 128? Whoa, dude, seriously, dude. Hey, this is the end of the world. Skitty, don't worry, calm down. Skitty! Oh, my goodness. Whoa, that was like a total shocker. What the heck was that? That big fat pillar of light. It totally came out of here, didn't it? 
Oh, man. We're getting some good stuff. Oh, here's Steven. British Eagle. I heard from Little Liza and Tate that you visited their gym. I was thinking of trying to catch you while you were in the area, but then this happened. We should talk. Let's go to my place. All right, we get a cutscene to end this episode. Man, what a wild episode this has been. So it is the top left corner house. Okay, he just wasn't there at that, at that moment. Ah, yes. I suppose I should welcome you to my home. Please forgive the rather sparse decor. Now, where to begin? Let us take a moment to understand what is happening to our world right now. That rumbling that shook the earth just now, that eardrum, rupturing, explosion we heard. They are proof that a seal which was long hidden deep under sea has been undone at last. The super ancient Pokemon that has been sealed deep beneath Route 128 since ancient times. It slept until now in the seafloor cavern. The entrance to that cavern was sealed by the power of a certain Pokemon, all in an effort to keep any human or Pokemon from ever breaching it. But now it appears that the scheming of that terrible team has undone the seal. There is no doubt that they intend to re revive the super ancient Pokemon. And once they do so, they do so, it seems they hope to make it power, its power their own. British Eagle, if that team obtains the power of the super ancient Pokemon, it will upset the balance of nature in this world. A crisis unlike any other before it will befall every living thing on this planet. I plan to do everything in my power to quell this situation. This, that is my duty. But there is a limit to what I can do with my power alone. That is why I'm asking for your help. I have great faith in your abilities. Lend me your strength to help put a halt to these team's mad ambitions. With you and I and our Pokemon all working together, we will overcome this disastrous turn of events. I don't think it's out of the question. I will entrust you with the this. Obtained HMO7 Dive. Let's go! If you use Dive, uh, you will be able to dive to the ocean floor with your Pokemon. And take this so you can stay with your Pokemon even in the depths of the ocean. Obtain the Devon Scuba Gear. We get that gear that we saw earlier at the uh, the team. Um, uh, 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 oh my gosh, what am I playing? Oh, Magma. There we go. I was playing it on the name. If you were to use di Dive in the correct stretch of water along Route 128, I believe you should be able to reach the entrance to the seafloor cavern. I will join you when I finish my duties. Please do what you can to stop Team Magma and Team Aqua and Team Magma until then. I'm trusting you to do this for me. All right, so we have to save the world. Steven's provided us with the HM for dive. Oh my gosh, what an insane episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. I have got to rebuild my team big time. So we're going to call that episode right there. Um, in the next episode at the start, we'll do a quick team recap because I got to add two new party members to the team. Um... But as always, continue to spread those positive vibes. If you've enjoyed this series so far, hit that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, let me know who you think in the box I should add to my team. Let me know. I'm going to probably try and, and pick between a couple mons there. There's some good ones in the box. So we got some options. But um, I will catch you guys in the next episode when we go to the Seafloor Cavern. Get more encounters. We're going to get the ancient Pokemon in the next episode. And we'll see what happens from there. But I'll catch you guys in the next episode as always. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.